wanted to share their benefits with you guys so you can reach your maximum potential of having hydrated, dewy skin. Minasan konnichiwa, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to be talking about a popular skincare item in JNK Beauty that's going to help you achieve truly hydrated and plump skin. If that sounds like your thing, then please go ahead and channel the Shichatte kudasai! With the rise in popularity of Asian skincare products, I feel like we've pretty much seen everything there is to see in the skincare industry. From essences to ampoules to sheet masks, things that weren't quite as common in the Western beauty market have now become household names. Although there is one type of product that is a personal favorite of mine that I feel like still hasn't had as much recognition, even though it is still super sought out and popular, especially in Japan. And the product is emulsions. They can also be called lotions, milk, fluid, even milky lotion after some translations. In Japan they are called nyuki. This is the kanji for it and basically it directly translates to milk fluid or like milk liquid. I was probably using them the most when I lived in Japan because they were just so readily available and basically more popular than your traditional creams. Although I did stray away from them a little bit when I moved back to Australia just because I couldn't get my hands on them as much. But I recently fell back in love with them and wanted to share their benefits with you guys so you can reach your maximum potential of having hydrated dewy skin. What is emulsion? Simply put, they are basically a light lightweight moisturizer compared to your traditional heavier creams, but they are so much more than that. First, they are typically water-based and water-based molecules are smaller than oil-based molecules. So basically, not only does it feel lighter on your skin, but it does allow for quicker and further absorption into your skin. But this doesn't mean that emulsions have no oil content whatsoever. They do usually still contain some oil ingredients. So basically, it does become a link that bridges the gap between your hydrating toner step and then your heavier moisturizer step. So who or what skin types can benefit from emulsions? The great thing about emulsions is that it can benefit every single skin type. For oily and acne prone skin, due to its light texture and also reduced oil content, it won't feel as heavy on your skin and also less prone to clogged pores, essentially being non-comedogenic. And for combo skin, with the perfect combo, see what I did there, of um, hydration and moisture, it is going to balance out at that hydration or moisture in your skin as well. And lastly, for dry and mature skin, you can add it in as an extra step before your heavier creams for a added layer of hydration or moisture without having to pack on a ton of rich, heavy creams. Another great thing about them is they work beautifully underneath makeup. I know this from also watching Sue Beauty. She mentioned that a lot of like K-pop makeup artists in Korea use a lotion type of moisturizer before application of makeup since it does allow really, really smooth application but also um, it helps for the makeup not to peel since you're not using a heavy cream underneath. So wear it alone or underneath your thicker moisturizer. It is so customizable for every skin type and I definitely want you to try it if you haven't already. And if you are new to emulsions, stick around for the rest of the video since I do have my top recommendations at the moment. The first one is the one I already mentioned, the Naturiya Hatomugi Skin Conditioning Milk. The one that got me back into emulsions. I owe it all to you. So I did notice about midway through this year that Naturiya had launched a new product, which I say new, but it has been about two years. Although it's really, really rare for them to because they literally only have three products in their full product lineup, which I feel like for a skincare brand is so, so rare, but all of them are so popular and have so many awards. I know the um, Milk won second place for the year in the emulsion category in that year that they released it. And now it's won like, what, over 15 awards since launch. So, you know, it's an impressive product. Unfortunately, not too many online retailers sell it as of yet. I got mine off YesStyle and even when I checked yesterday, they were out of stock. So hopefully they get it back soon. If you do have an opportunity to get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. Because first of all, it is a huge 230 ml bottle. Like look at the size of this even compared to my face. It is a big boy. And it retails for only 825 Japanese yen. I know a lot of you guys are going to be traveling to Japan soon. Hopefully me too. But if you can get it in Japan, 800 yen for this product. Like it's just so cheap. There's just 
this is no reason not to get it. Same with the other products in their range. They use their signature ingredient of hatomugi, which is also known as coik seed or jobs tears, which in Asian culture has many health benefits and it is even consumed in forms of tea and supplements. Hatomugi contains 12 different types of amino acids and is considered to be a natural moisturizing factor. So it hydrates your skin, but also helps with barrier protection as well. Hatomugi is also often used in Japanese skincare as a gentler alternative for acne prone or breakout prone skin since it does have properties that can help to prevent breakouts as well as controlling sebum. This one is also alcohol and fragrance free so great for sensitive skin types as well. This one does have a medium bodied lotion texture and when you blend it out it does basically just melt into the skin. It is pretty nourishing though so I would probably recommend it for normal to drier skin types. If you do have oily skin it might be a good option for nighttime too. It also works well underneath makeup or Although I feel like all of them in this video do, but it does keep that um, moisture and hydration throughout the day as well. Also due to its value for money, I highly recommend a use on the body as well. The next one is from one of my favorite brand discoveries of this year, the Pecom Kato Lotion. You guys know how obsessed I am with the Kato cream, right? Well, they released a lotion version, so Basically, there's no reason why I wouldn't love it. By the way, Pcom were nice enough to sponsor this portion of this video. So thank you, Pcom. I love the team there. And also their products have been so genuinely good to me. So I'm very, very excited to be working with them again. So if you didn't know already, Pcom's whole um, range is actually catered to sensitive and acne prone skin. I don't have either yet. The products work so well for me. So basically, the whole range does work for all skin types. Similar to the Kato cream, the lotion formula includes the Kato barrier complex, a mixture of ceramides, phytos, phytosterols. I don't know how to say it. How do I pronounce that? Phytosterols. By tosterols. Okay. So similar to their Kato cream, the lotion formula includes their Kato barrier complex, a mixture of ceramides, phytosterols, which are similar to cholesterols, and fatty acids to create something that is similar to our skin's natural lipids, essentially to nourish and repair our skin barrier. Where the Kato cream was recommended for normal to drier skin types, the lotion is actually recommended to oily and dehydrated skin types. It of course does have a lighter texture, that does absorb very easily, but it does still create that protective layer on our skin. It does also include Centella Asiatica, which we all love for soothing and calming our skin. And it does also contain Squalane for light nourishment. This one also comes in a very generous 200 ml bottle and can also be used for the face and body. Needless to say, it did not disappoint. I've actually been alternating between the two, depending on how my skin's feeling, how dry it is. Since we are getting some slightly warmer weather here in Australia, in recent times, I have been opting to use the Kato lotion during the day. Next, I have the Sana Nameraka Honpo Soy Milk Emulsion. I know a lot of you guys have asked me to review the Sana Nameraka Honpo line for a while now, although do you know how many products they have now? They have been around forever. Like even when I was in school as a teenager, whenever I visited Japan, I remember seeing the Sana Nameraka Honpo line, but they have like a brightening range, like anti-aging range, like a bouncy skin something range. There's just so many different products. There's just no, there's no way I'm going to be able to try them all now. The one I have today is from their kind of original or core range called the Hoshitsu line. The whole Nameraka Honpo brand is known for using their signature ingredient, the soy milk isofrabon, and it is known to be antioxidant rich, which helps slow aging. Hence why Japanese people consume so much soy in their diet. I would actually recommend this more for oilier skin types since it is really light in the texture. It actually has a little bit of like a slip to its texture, almost like a less slimier version of um, snail mucin. See, can you see it? A little bit. But once it does apply and um, absorb into the skin, it is really light and refreshing. Although I did find for my drier skin, it wasn't quite enough moisture on most days. It is also fragrance free, but does contain some alcohol to achieve that really lightweight feel. Next, I have the Hadarabo Gokujin Premium Hydrating Milk. Now on the flip side, I actually recommend this one for those who have dry and dehydrated skin like me. It is definitely the richest, most nourishing one out of the collection I have today. And I have had about 
a billion questions from you guys on the difference between the Hadarabha lotion versus the Milky lotion. Luckily with the renewed packaging, Hadarabha has actually written it to be a hydrating milk, which I feel like is a slightly better description than Milky lotion. Simply put, the opaque milky textured ones are an emulsion, aka a light moisturizer, and the classic watery lotions are a toner. Does that does that make sense to you guys? <laughs> Anyways, back to this product. Like their toners, the Gokujin Premium, the one in the yellow bottle, is for those who have dry skin and need that extra bit of moisture and nourishment. You can definitely tell that this one has a higher oil content. Even the texture is a little bit thicker compared to the other emulsions, but oh my god, it feels so luxurious. It just glides on the skin. I can apply it in the morning and even a few hours later, my skin still looks nourished to plump and glowy. It may be a little bit rich for the summertime that is coming, but right now in this in-between season of supposedly spring, but we've had some really cold days and then really hot days, it has been a really nice moisturizer to use in the morning and I haven't been following up with any other moisturizer and it is plenty nourishment for my dry skin. It does again use the hyaluronic acid complex that um, Hadarab uses in pretty much all of their products. Seven weights of hyaluronic acid in this one and it is again and, um, fragrance and alcohol free like their toners as well. Last one I'll be talking about today is the Muji Moisturizing Milk. Muji, for those who may not be familiar, is that skincare brand that is good for the basics for me. That's why I love a lot of their cleansing products like their cleansing oil, it is still my holy grail, and their cleansing milk. It basically does what it should and it needs to, but literally nothing more. So if you want drastic changes to your skin, Muji would not be the brand that I would recommend. But if you are a beginner with skincare and don't want to dive too deep or want a couple of really basic steps in your skincare routine like me, they are the perfect brand. In Japan, they are actually really famous for their toning water, so their toners, as well as their moisturizing milks. They are also so popular that they come in three different levels of hydration. So both the toner and this milk comes in a light moisture and high moisture version. The one I have is actually the light version which wouldn't usually be the one that I go for just because I do have drier skin but it was like half price so I was like why not I'll get the light one I can even use it on my body. But for being a basic product the texture is actually really elegant. Even the light version does have a little bit of body to it as you can see it's not gliding down my skin but the moment you blend it out it just like melts away and instantly is hydrating to the skin. In terms of ingredients, there really isn't much to it. I even went on their official Japanese site to see what kind of product info they had on there and the only ingredient they highlight is their natural um, spring water that they use and literally nothing else. Although it is alcohol and fragrance free and it's actually made for sensitive skin types so you don't have to worry about it irritating your skin either. I would recommend this to all skin types since you can choose the moisture level that you prefer. I usually only recommend Muji to people who have Muji stores in their country so they can actually go to the store or get it shipped directly from the brand because basically any third-party seller like they rack up the price like crazy. And that's it. That is my dedicated video on emulsions or Nuiki. Like they are just such a wonderful product that I feel like is not getting anywhere near as much attention. So please, please try them out if you haven't already. Once again, thank you to Pecan for sponsoring that portion of it this video. And don't forget to check out their sales for Black Friday. It is such a good deal and literally like literally my favorite moisturizer of the year. So, you know, Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you click another one of my videos so you can check it out. I know you'll love it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!